Welcome back to Science Sundays. And of course, in October, we are loving all things Halloween. So let's join our friend Delia at the Sylvan Learning Center for a STEM activity that gets a little steamy. Hello and welcome back everyone. It's October and hopefully you have your Halloween costumes and are ready for this upcoming holiday. But we're here to have some science fun, some spooky science fun today with Witch's Brew Potion. But of course, as always, it involves science. So this exciting experiment today, we're going to need some things that you can find around the house. You have some typical hydrogen peroxide. Usually that's used when you have a scrape and your parents put that on you. You can see it bubble and see the reaction. We're also going to need some yeast, some instant yeast that you use often for baking. You can get them in the packets or they sell them in the jar. And some food coloring and some um, dish soap, common dish soap, which would be great. So what we're gonna start first is by heating up some water, just basic water. And we're gonna go ahead and place some yeast into the packet so that it begins to activate and really can get the opportunity to help. And you want that to sit for a little bit. So you can stir it around. What I'm doing right now is placing it into this little mixing bowl here. Stir it around. I should also share that I heated up the water. That'll really help um, for that. So ask your parents for help with this experiment. Spend some time to heat this up put some water, put the yeast in and set that aside. The next thing we're gonna do is, I have these cool little beakers, but you can use any type of glass um, container that you have at home, whether it's a little bowl. I like this one because it's really tall and you can really see the reaction in a moment. So we're going to place our hydrogen peroxide into the glass. Now this looks a lot like water, doesn't it? It looks like H2O, but in fact, it's actually H2O2. And what we're going to be doing today is essentially having the reaction where it breaks down and releases oxygen. We're gonna speed up that process. Okay, so I have about that much in there. Let's go ahead and place some food coloring in do whatever color you'd like, but we're doing a little bit of a witch's brew today. So I thought that would be appropriate to have our green in there. The other thing I'd like to put is we always like to add bubbles. Bubbles is a great way to allow us to visualize the reactions that are happening. It, what's happening when these react together is the oxygen being released will be, be captured in the bubbles. And so it's gonna look really cool that way. Of stir that around and what we are going to do with this hydrogen peroxide the dye and the dish soap in there we're going to put the yeast and the yeast has a protein in it that is going to speed up the process of breaking down the oxygen inside the peroxide so that's basically what we're seeing happen in action, okay? I think our yeast is pretty activated there. This could get a little messy, so make sure that you have a nice little pan that you are placing it on, or you can do this outside if that's easier. So I have a little funnel here that'll help us with placing the yeast directly in there, and then we're going to prepare to watch the reaction. What you can notice, again, let's put our science hats on. If you could feel the bottle before the, the foam went everywhere, you would feel heat coming. And what's happening is because it's reacting so quickly and breaking down the oxygen so quickly, you are able to have an exothermic reaction, which basically means that energy being released is through heat. You can feel it, it's heat. And so have fun, have a safe and happy Halloween. 
Now just head over to our website, turn to 23.com forward slash science Sundays to learn much more about the science of this reaction and different ways to conduct it at home. We'll see you next week for more Halloween science fun.